watch your bitch like no way. I went from rags to riches. I just be fucking these bitches. I went from rags to riches. I just be. What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Trills Uncut. If you don't know me, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And right here, we're gonna be doing a NBA 2K19 breakdown. And we're gonna talk about some of the differences I see and you see. So during the commentary, I'm mostly gonna let it play, but I'm also gonna talk about what I think is different, what I think has changed, and what I think also stayed the same. So basically, a breakdown video. If you don't want to hear anybody talking over the gameplay, you just wanna watch it. I'm gonna uh, put a link in the description so you can see Chris Wood's video. But this is more so breaking down the gameplay. So every now and then I comment on what I think is funny, what I think is nice, whatever the case may be. So definitely right here, you can see the lighting. The lighting of this is definitely better. Like the lighting is way better. It looks actually, it looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie from a, just a graphical standpoint. But 2K always improves on that. Okay. So all rebounds still suck. Okay. Still can't rebound. It's a good miss. So, it looks like rebound's gonna be broken. <laughs> I'm not gonna even lie. It looks like, look, glass is the way to go this year. Jesus. <laughs> Damn, that's like three offensive rebounds in the first minute. Okay, that's a good backdoor cut there by Alpha Payton. I really want to see the shooting. Because I think the shooting was more so the problem this year. So, I'm trying to see how they want to look on shooting. Even though this is probably on rookie. But it still gives you a good indication of how the game, the direction is gonna go in. Okay. Okay, so he's bricking. I don't know if the person just sucks or JJ Reddick is just broke. So that's four offensive rebounds, guys, and about like I want to say like 30 seconds of gameplay. So we see, look, man, glass is the way to go this year, man. Glass cleaners, y'all. Glass cleaners. Okay, A B face up. That's a good miss. Good contested shot. Should miss. And beat is a world class defender. I think the person that has the Sixers just kind of sucks. But it, it, it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, I don't know. That's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. You gotta protect the rim. So dribbling with JJ Reddick. I'm kind of lost here. Yeah, let me see a face up move. So I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm right here. I'm looking for the bump cheese. You know the bump steel cheese that we all hate. That's what I'm looking for, but I don't see it. I honestly do not see the bump cheese like that. So it, it looks like it's no bump cheese. It looks like you just have to pick up your dribble or your dribble slows down. I actually do like that. Because NBA players like don't get bump cheese. Like they dribble through or they just slow down their dribbles, take a step back. There's no bump and lose the ball instantly, you know? That was mid with Vincent. That caught me off guard. I didn't know what he was doing until he pulled up. He must got that update. They seen Ben Simmons in the gym. <laughs> they seen my boy Ben pulling in the gym with that broke ass jumper. Okay, it's a good move. Okay, so that was a little bump cheese. I don't want to say he spent, so he lost the ball. So I don't want to consider it bump cheese. And from there, you can tell mid-range. Mids is still green beans, man. Grids is still green beans. So I'm gonna let y'all guys know ahead of time. I'm making two builds, right? So I'm gonna make like a pro-am competitive build, and I'm gonna make like a part kind of build that also could be used in pro-am, but it's not ideal. That's a good steal too. So I'm gonna make a uh, probably a playmaking shot last year because I had a lot of a lot of success. And when I'm saying playmaking shot, I mean playmaking shot creator. And then my other build is gonna be like a probably not a pure shot, but something like a, a, a like a sharp playmaker or something like that. Because I plan on playing point guard for my team. Uh, yeah, so. It depends on what we make, cause I basically make based off the needs of my team. So let's say if uh, one of my boys want to get back to point guard, yeah, I just make something. But it's looking like mid ranges is still good, and it's also looking like the rebounding is pretty cheap. So glass clean is probably the way to go. And in this gameplay, they're bricking threes, like they're bricking a lot, but I don't. Think, yeah, I don't think so don't even worry about it, guys. <laughs> I think they just suck. Yeah, I think, I think. 
Davis setting the pick for Peyton. Inside, they need this. It's good defense. And yeah, he shouldn't no make that. Good defense. There we go. Solid defense from Sharich. Yeah, they gonna Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive outputs. Yeah, great. Hey, I got TJ McCollum. Julius Randle. Okay, then I ain't tripping. Heard you, 2K. Small builds the way to go. And also, I plan on playing a lot of play now this year. So I hope the gameplay is just a little more fluid. And the thing I, the main thing I want to know about 2K, I don't think it, it's anything they can do about it because it's just is what it is, right? But the five out, right? So five out, we all know what five out cheese is. But five out cheese is especially annoying when you're playing game modes like play now and my team. Because the difference between play now and my career, if you have a five, you can kind of communicate with what to do, right? And it's not as difficult. And fucking my team, you have cards that are all pink diamond, 99 overall, and people are just running around, shooting through the center and their power forward, and you can't control everyone. So it's kind of annoying, and the people the dribbling. Put like this, my team is like a whole it's different like aspect of like Miller the game. So, yeah. Davis. That's good defense by Embiid. That's good defense. Another offensive rebound. And, and Davis is a different exception. He should get offensive rebounds. But far as like those other guards and all that, that's that's a tough man. Okay, Embiid won it back. Damn, that was that hell. So that's good. It looks like you can contest hook shots more than last year. Because last year I felt like you couldn't contest hooks at all, honestly. I, I honestly felt like you couldn't do nothing when a person hooked you. But I was a small guard, so I don't know from a single standpoint. But you see, on that, he got like a heavy contest. He turned around. He was like, you kind of got the animation for the contest. Yeah, I don't think that was like a revolution. Volch kicks to Johnson. There's the pick. Chandler inside the line. Honestly, guys, I don't want to be that guy, right? But it's nothing that's really impressive. Nothing really impressive in this game. It kind of looks like the old 2K with a roster update and then just clean graphics. Like, honestly, one thing I will say, the lighting and the graphics did get better. Like, they, nah, they honestly did get better. And it looks way better. But I think the bulk of, like, knowing this game and understanding this game, we got to see some, like, part. We got to see some part game, play some part warm-ups. We got to see when Cheezus touched the game, what's going to be different. How the shooting's going, how that's going. Yo, know, Anthony Davis and that shot looks crazy. Wow, that was that was beautiful. This guy, I don't know, they're brave even playing on broadcast. This is alone, they deserve a, a Grammy for playing in broadcast. <laughs> And B with a contested. Okay, so we see Anthony Davis has his uh, I won't call it a grand badge, but he's on fire with something. So I don't know what Andy Davis like play style because he's a little bit of everything. But I would guess like a defensive player because that's what he was like really drafted for with his defense, right? So I'm guessing that he can hit three, dunk on people crazy, do any post move. I'm trying to see. But this fucking verse is not fast enough. Uh, Anthony Davis. Okay, TJ McCollum off the court. Now I'm gonna have him to pop a three. Now shoot. Okay, the defense. Defense is decent. Embiid with a screen on Got Embiid. McConnell passes to Embiid. Should have Embiid earlier. Davis, that's that. Yeah, that was a very late open coverage. Open? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, you know, that was definitely. That was definitely he wasn't open, but you know, I, I can't make this type of shit up. <laughs> so honestly, for the breakdown, it's really nothing. It was only a quarter of play, but it wasn't nothing that made me like say, "Wow, I want this." So it's basically. It's not much. The defense did look better. Rebounding looked at overpowered. So I know most of you guys are saying, why? Why should I get this, like, this garbage? It's basically 2K18 2.0. But we'll have to see more gameplay footage. And as the footage come out, I'm going to keep on breaking it down. Peace. Comment, rate, subscribe, guys. I just be fucking these bitches. I went from rags to riches. I just be fucking these bitches. I went from rags to riches. I just